everybody, it's Manny from Travel Forge. So we are at the old house today. Um, we are trying to get wrapped up. So um, the plan is, it's now Saturday. The plan is to get a few projects done at this house. Uh, my parents are gonna come over and help us finish up a couple projects tomorrow, Sunday. Um, we are going to work on just finishing up cleaning, whatever we need to do. Like there's a couple of spots on the walls we need to scrub, things like that. So yesterday we went to Lowe's. We were really trying to decide what to do about this kitchen space over here. So if you follow us on Instagram or Facebook, you know that our washer and dryer used to be in the kitchen. That's where it was when we moved in. Um, <clears throat> when we remodeled our bathroom, we decided we wanted to put a cabinet butcher block type space here so that I had more room when I was doing food preservation projects. Well, temporarily we just had like a folding table here and it was kind of just like storage or I'd sit roasters on it or things like that. And that worked fine, but we never got to building like the custom cabinet that we wanted to put here. Now we're getting ready to sell the house and we just have this like awkward empty space that we need to do something with. So we decided to get a cab, two cabinets actually, to put here and a utility sink so that the next people that move in don't have like this weird, awkward space. So today we're working on getting that taken care of. Um, that's one, not major project, but like a project that we should be able to get done in, I'm hoping a couple hours. Um, so we have that to wrap up. Um, also in the bathroom, so this is the butcher block top. So I'll be showing you that here shortly. Um, Zad and our friend Steve, Steve helped us do this bathroom um, back in the summer, last summer. Um, we love this shower so much. It's the most beautiful tile shower with this bench and I'm gonna miss it a lot. Um, we have three full bathrooms at the new house, but they're all just like inserts. So eventually we'll probably work on converting them to tile because tile is the bomb. Um, they put this cool bench in. So like when you get out of the shower, you can sit here at your little bench and we were gonna put like a heater in and things like that so but anyway the next person can do whatever they want with that situation um we put this nice sink in here jamie loves this um faucet so we just need to do and then so the washer and dryer our washer and dryer was here next people can put their washer and dryer here or whatever the hookups are here and all that so we need to do some work on the ceiling we tried to match this stain and clearly it we were off um, so we need to work on that. So this is the color that we're shooting for. These are the boards that we had to replace when we did um, the bathroom remodel. There's a couple spots like right here. We just need to like touch up the paint and we still have that paint. Zad has a little bit of grout work to do in here. Um, other than that, we don't really have any like projects left at this house short of cleaning like, you know, where there are children smudges and spilled who knows what's and whatever. Um, maybe try to clean like the windows, you know, things like that. Um, and then, so we still have our TV and our Wi-Fi up here. My brother is coming today. He's our IT guy. Um, he is coming to tear all that stuff down today. We have a pretty like advanced Wi-Fi system, um, because at this house, so we have three acres at this house and we needed to have internet in the house, up at the shop. I mean, we didn't need it at the pool, but it was nice. I was able to like use that as an office space while the kids were swimming and whatever. But we had to have it in the top shop because that's where my Glowforge was. Zad had it in the bottom shop because he used the TV if he was like, you know, whatever. Had YouTube on while he was working or things like that. Um, so we have a pretty advanced uh, Wi-Fi system that my brother's going to come take down for us today so that it's all safely packed away so that he can install it at the new house. Um, so that is the projects for today. I think that's it. Oh, there's a faucet we need to replace upstairs. Um, little bit of painting, I think. I think that was all. So I'll do a like more extensive video on this, but and especially after the house sells and I like crunch the numbers, uh, we were trying to figure out like what is a reasonable amount of money to put into a house before you sell it. And so I talked to our realtor and I'm like, you know, if we put less than two grand into this house to sell it, is that a reasonable amount? And she was like, well, I would say it definitely is. You know, we've now lived here for seven years. It'll be seven years in October. Um, so we bought this in October of 2016. Um, and we've had three kids here. We've had a zillion animals, goats and chickens and turkeys and guineas, um, you know, all, all these things going on. So just like farm life and 
business life and you know metal dust and wood shavings and all this business happening in this house so i feel like i think at the end of the day we'll have put in i'm thinking around fifteen hundred dollars so besides these projects i just showed you um zad and jeremy i showed this on instagram and facebook zad and jeremy had to repair this walkway so it had gotten kind of rough over the years. I always loved this walkway. It kind of takes you from the driveway down to the house. So they got this repaired. So between the walkway, the cabinets and the utility sink we're putting in the kitchen, the few things we had to do to finish up the bathroom project, um, that faucet and a little bit of paint, we're gonna be at like 1500 bucks. I don't feel like that's too shabby. Now, once we sell the house and I see, you know, what we clear on the house and things like that, and I'll be having a conversation with you about this once the house sells and like how we did this whole move and owning two houses at the same time and all that kind of thing. And I'll have like an in-depth conversation about that because I've had a lot of people ask me like, how are you managing? I mean, we've really not worked, huh? Not worked as in we haven't been repairing KitchenAid's uh, making fire pokers, laser engraving things on the Glowforge, making soap, etc. I've been selling the soap I have in stock. I've been selling eggs. Um, you know, I did a little Glowforge project for my mom that we set up a makeshift little Glowforge shop on the porch at the new house. Um, but really, we've been kind of literally focused on moving for the last three months. Um, and so I'll be doing a pretty extensive video or just in detail about how we made that happen, how we planned for such a thing. Um, and, and I still don't know how that's all gonna shake down because I don't know what we're gonna sell this house for yet. Our realtor comes on Monday. She's gonna do a walkthrough. We'll just see if she has any other opinions about things that should be done. I'm praying that she doesn't. Um, Wednesday, the photographer is coming. Um, so she'll you know, make nice, pretty pictures. To, to put in our listing. I don't know exactly when it'll go on the market. We're shooting for June 1st. Um, I'm hoping maybe before that, we'll see what happens. Um, we do, ugh. so we have a really nice Skag zero turn 60 inch commercial mower that we used at this house. We originally bought it because where my garden was, that was all grass. And so when we moved here, I said to Zad, I'm like, I do not want you to be mowing all day on a Saturday. Like we need to spend the money on a nice mower that you can mow the yard in like under an hour. And he did, he could pretty much mow in like 45 minutes. Um, as I've mentioned before, this property is basically half woods, half grass or half non, non woods. Um, obviously there's the house, the pool, the barn, you know, whatever. So he didn't have to mow that, but he had it pretty much down to a science that he could mow in about 45 minutes. Um, and then when my garden came in, it was even less mowing because I had a 2,000 square foot raised bed garden. So obviously he didn't have to mow that. Anyway, that mower is buried in the shop at the new house and it is in the very back corner and we could get to it, but like we'd have to pull all this crap out to get the mower, load it on the trailer, drive it down here, blah, blah, blah. So Zad has a buddy who does mowing and he offered to mow it for us. Um, obviously we're paying him, but he, he made availability in his schedule to get this mowed and trimmed for us. And that'll just be fantastic. So we're hoping that he can come do that before the photographer comes. If not, hopefully the photographer can just be really creative in the way she takes the picture so that you can't see the grass that we haven't mowed since October. Um, it looks really rich next to our neighbors. Our neighbor keeps his grass very, very meticulous. And our grass is like a foot high. So, you know, it's just typical of us. So anyway, we're gonna get that done. Um, I'm gonna take you just a little bit through the projects that we're gonna do today. Um, and then I am hoping, man, by tomorrow, I'm hoping mom and I can just wrap up the cleaning here and we will be moving along. Leave it. All right, so another pro, not really a project, but one of these drawer pulls came off. Now it's missing, of course. So Zad is just working on just general things. We just wanna make it as like move-in ready as possible. Um, and so just some aesthetic things that really don't cost much for us to do and don't take much time. Um, you know, just in talking with our realtor would probably be worth it. Obviously we don't know what kind of buyer we're gonna get. We might get someone more like-minded like we are and like bought a property like we bought 
you know, the property, our new property needs work. I mean, it's totally livable, but it needs a lot of things. And we knew that when we bought it and we got it for a great price and whatever, for how much land and outbuildings and all that kind of stuff. So we knew that, that was going to be the case, but somebody might move in here and they really don't want a project. So if we can just eliminate as many of these little projects as possible and make it look really great in pictures um, and very functional, you know, then we feel like this property could be suited to someone who that just wants a nice move in ready house that they just want to live in a nice quiet property. All right. So it's the end of the first day of cleaning and last minute projects. Um, mom and I need to paint the upstairs bathroom. We didn't have the exact colors, so we're just gonna repaint that whole bathroom, which is not a huge bathroom, so it won't be a big deal. Um, Zad got this uh, cabinet and the utility sink in. Um, Dad's gonna stain this butcher block before we put that on top. Um, mom and I did all the touch-up painting, so all of the walls and cabinets and marker and all of that business are all taken care of. Um, we have a list of the things together that we need them to bring tomorrow. Um, and we're almost there. So we're hoping tomorrow we can wrap this up in like six or seven hours. Um, we're going to go back to the new house tonight because obviously I need to take care of my animals. Um, and we should be finishing up tomorrow. So I'll probably bring you another video tomorrow just with, you know, what it looks like when we're all done. So that's where we are as of now. I know a lot of local people have been asking, um, you know, what we're selling it for and um, when it's going on the market specifically and things like that. Um, so the answer is I don't know yet because the realtor has not done her walkthrough. She's gonna do that on Monday. So once we do our walkthrough, we kind of have a better idea um about what she thinks then i'll have answers to those questions so that's where we are thanks for following along we'll see you next time